Hey guys, Melinda Sturger here with a real estate market Monday update. I'm going to try to do this every week for you. Um, my goal was to do that through the spring and um, while I love doing these, uh, oh, turn sideways. While I love doing these as uh, my busyness picks up, I just sometimes have to eliminate something from my schedule and kind of got off track but we are back cannot tell if anyone's on here or not but my name is melinda starcher and if you're seeing this you are probably on my regular page moving forward i'm going to move this over and start doing these on um i'm going to start doing these on my regular uh, on my business page but for now I'm gonna be doing these here, and then eventually I'm gonna put everything over to my business page. So anyways, um, happy Monday, everybody. And I love uh, getting on here and getting live because you normally just see my little reels or a picture or whatever. So I like chatting with you guys. If you wanna chat in the comments, you can if you have questions. I don't know why, but I feel like my hair looks blue. Anyways, maybe it's gray. <laughs> maybe I'm getting gray. Um, but if you wanna hop on here and ask questions, you're more than welcome to ask questions about the market and I'll try to answer them. Hi, Jim. Thanks for thanks for saying hi and jumping on here. Um, I, should ask, I should ask you questions, Jim, because you're in the, um, what, Eastern Kentucky market? Huntington, Eastern, no, Eastern Kentucky. Is that where you're at, Jen? Um, but anyways, I'm gonna start talking about the market. Um, if you look at my story, I did share where the interest rates are. And instead of people waiting, don't keep waiting because those interest rates are gonna continue to go up. So this is what's gonna happen. I thought so, I thought so, I was paying attention. Um, and you know, hop in and give me your opinion, but I, I think that you're going to support me on this, Jim, but what's going to happen is this, this balance of buyers have more leeway, but you have more leeway. You're going to have a little bit more time to make an offer. Houses aren't going to be off the market as soon as they come on the market, but your interest rates are going to go up now. Okay. First of all, I weeded it. <laughs> before you see this that anyways if i pulled uh weeds yesterday for a seller of mine and i just choked um i pulled weeds yesterday so that's what i'm left with anyways what, what you're going to see is you're going to see that interest rates go up or interest rates go up and um buyers do have a little bit more of an advantage but as your interest rates go up what you can afford is going to come down so don't forget that. Unless you are buying a house cash, you don't wanna to continue to wait. So I have lots of different things that I do for my sellers. Um, that way we can, um, people have no trouble paying 2.9. Right, that, I love that point. I'm glad you, I'm glad you brought that up. Hey Trey, um, hey Mark. So, what you're going to start seeing unless you're buying cash you don't need to wait and and what i do for my clients is and i'm sure other realtors have their own little thing too but i try to create a system so we can get your house ready to be sold and then boom put it on the market as soon as you find something that you like get pre-approved if you're afraid of being homeless that is my job to make you homeless but i don't want you to be homeless for more than a day so um so what we do is we get it ready. We look for that perfect home. You get pre-approved. You have to be ready. You have to be ready. If you're not ready, then you're already behind. So if you're waiting for that pre-approval for the perfect house, it's not gonna happen. And most people are not gonna even let you in the door to see a house if you're not pre-approved. So you have, and, and to be honest <laughs> with gas prices that they, what they are, and I'll share, um, we all know what it is, but I was, I got chuckled the other day thinking, oh my gosh, this is, this is exactly why we want you pre-approved because I'm not running all over the place wasting, you know, money that I could feed my kids with 
on gas if you're not really ready. And I know every realtor feels that way. And I know it kind of comes off sassy or whatever, but it's the truth and we want you to be ready. So I have a system and I want my buyers and sellers to um, win every time. And if I let you lead the way and you don't get pre-approved, then it won't work. So I feel like I'm <clears throat> pretty good at what I do. And, um, and it's because we have a system in place. So it's really important to follow the lead of your real estate agent, um, whoever that person may be, and um, follow their guidance and listen to them. Because if you're with them and you trust them, then they're gonna, they're gonna take care of you. Um, if you don't trust them, then you probably should um, look into interviewing some other realtors, and so on and so forth. Um, all right. Jim, you have a good good Monday. Um, go sell something. So, uh, but yeah. So if you are not, um, thank you, dear. If you are not buying something cash, then you really need to start to get pre-approved and start talking to a real estate agent if it's something that you're thinking about. If you're not thinking about it, if you don't care about it, then no big deal. But the interest rates are about four and a half, four point seven on um, fixed rates. So that means they're like 5.3, 5.5. Um, and it is on my thing. I'm just trying to go off of memory, but um, it's on my story. So you can go and look and that is from Mortgage Daily News, which is a great source if you're ever looking um, on just quick little updates, follow that on Instagram and or on uh, Facebook. But um, so what's going on in our market, our market is always sort of steady and we don't see these drastic 100,000 over asking, no appraisal gap or appraisal gaps, which an appraisal gap just means that you are um, going to pay if it doesn't appraise. So let's say that a house is 250,000 and you offer 300 in an escalation clause, which I can go over that as well. But that means that you offer an amount, if you're using an escalation clause, you offer an amount, let's say it's 250, and then you escalate to 300,000 on certain increments. And if you're worried about that escalation, what you do is, um, you know, we fall back on the appraisal. So an appraisal gap is actually gonna say, hey, I know that you said that you would go up to 300,000, but if it doesn't appraise and you actually moved up in increments and you're, you're buying the house at 280 and your original offer was 250, if it um, doesn't appraise and it only appraises for like 255, then will you pay that difference? So that's what an appraisal gap is. You have to have the cash to do that. And if you really, really love the home, then do it because we're still having rising um, prices and they're still sustaining, they're not going down. So with that being said, a lot of buyers are still walking in with equity, even if it's a little over, you still have equity. Um, so that's something that I wanted to discuss. I'm on my MLS, which I'm not really allowed to show you my MLS, but I'm on here looking at different houses and what's available and what's for sale and in the Huntington um, actually the ones that I posted today were Canal and Putnam but we've definitely had an uptick in houses that are available and still available not flying off the market um, and then we've also had an uptick in expireds and withdrawals drawns so what that means withdrawals what that means is that um, things are sitting a little bit longer and that if um, you don't have it priced correctly, which has always kind of been like that, if you don't have a price presentation, um, if you don't have those things, then they're going to probably expire. You can't just slap anything on the market and expect it to sell. So um, I'm seeing that there's a lot of beautiful houses out there and you have a little bit more time to get it. So, and just to, to reiterate, I think I've said this before, um, but the market actually never had um, a lack of inventory. We just 
it, or, or low inventory, it just went really quickly. So what was available was kind of flying off of the market um, a little bit faster than it normally would be. Um, but there was still more sales than we've ever had in the last two years, which means that we didn't really have a lack of inventory. We just had, or a lack of homes for sale. We, it just went really quickly. So um, they're sitting a little bit longer, so don't panic. But if you're a seller, so we're getting back to a more stable time and you've got to be right on your price. You can't just list something way over, which you never should have done that, in, especially in this area, and expect for it to go. You still have to have some senses about you and really look at the market. Remember, your real estate agent is not the one that's dictating the price. You aren't, your real estate agent is, is not, and Zillow is not. Um, Zestimates do not, I get this question all the time, Zestimates do not really work for our market. And the reason that they don't is because in West Virginia, we typically have houses, we can have a house that's 500,000, and then right around the corner, we can have a house that is 30,000. So you can't designate a whole entire zip code, which is what Zillow does. Zillow designates an entire zip code, and then they, it's just an automated, um, system that goes off of that zip code and we don't really have that here so maybe in larger markets um, you know New York City Miami Florida in a very large market you might see that and that might be more true but here it is not more true so um, what else was I going to tell you I think that's basically it if you have questions I'd love to chat with you about listing your home and getting it sold and the little steps that we do and um, consultations are free and I'd love to just sit down and chat. Just text me or call me. I'm with EXP Realty 304-552-8732. Angela Crawford is my wonderful, beautiful broker. I love her dearly and, um, you know, we'll take care of you. Areas that I serve, all of Kanawha County and around Kanawha County. So a little bit of Jackson, Mason County, um, and a little bit of Boone County. And then of course, definitely Putnam. Um, I'm strongly connected with Putnam and then C Cabell County. So that's my home county. And I still do a lot of work there as well. So I'd love to chat with you. Give me a call. Let's talk real estate, 304-552-8732. That is our little market update. And um, check in for tips, tricks, questions, all the things. Love to chat.